What is up guys, Jeremy with everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at iOS 7's new lock screen. Uh, so I'm going to basically just do a run through of all the new stuff that the lock screen can do. Um, it's really quite nice. Uh, first thing is when you wake your device up is it kind of fades in now, which is really subtle and nice instead of instantly turns on. I do like that uh, that change there. So as you see right there, it faded in and I do have a whole bunch of notifications here. Um, so. With notifications, it's just like it used to be. You can just go ahead and swipe on it. As you can see, I do have a passcode lock right there. So that's what the passcode lock looks like. Um, also, you can see, you know, whatever notifications you have. If you want to dismiss these notifications from your lock screen, all you have to do is pull down on Notification Center. So after you do that, as you can see now, the notifications are gone, which is actually kind of a nice touch. I do like that, uh, being able to hide those away if you need to. So as you've seen, you also can access Notification Center. You have your Mist, you have All, you have your Today Calendar Events. Also here, if we back out, you can also uh, access Control Center by swiping up. I'm actually going to put my device into airplane mode just because I'm getting so many uh, Instagram notifications. Again, with these, I'm going to just go ahead and dismiss them by pulling down Notification Center. Um, also, as you can see, the slide to unlock is a lot different. There's no knob now. You can actually slide over from anywhere on the screen, which is really handy because you don't even have to look really. You just, you know, slide on your screen and then you can unlock your device. Also, you do have your normal camera grabber right there. And then if we bring up the music controls, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the LMART work looks like. So there's LMART on the lock screen now, which I do like. I think it looks good. Um, so we can go ahead and pause that. You do have your normal controls, play, pause, previous volume slider right there, so we'll pause that. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock my device and show you a couple of settings within the settings application. Notice the difference with the uh, the passcode lock. You got like a nice little animation for when you click on the numbers, which does look very nice in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings here, and then you do have notification center options. Um, you can enable or disable notifications view or today view on the lock screen, so if you want to change that up a little bit, you can do so. Also, with Control Center, you can uh, access that on the lock screen toggle as well. Turn that on or off if you want to be able to use that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the lock screen, guys. Uh, I do really like it. I think it looks really good on iOS 7. And um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That does help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more iOS 7 reviews or tutorials, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.